ahead and get started sitting in easy pose with your legs crossed. Your hands are on Gyan Mudra, index finger and thumb touching. The wrists rest lightly on your knees. Straighten the spine. So lengthen the spine. Imagine there's a piece of string at the top of the head just pulling you up. And gently tuck the chin, so pull the chin in, lining the neck up with the spine as you begin to deepen your breath. So you inhale, try to count to eight. And as you exhale, try to count to eight. mind is wandering, you can use the mantra Sat as you inhale and Nam as you exhale to focus your mind. Gently rub the palms of the hands together, gener generating heat, generating energy. Press the thumbs to the heart center, lift the elbows, and inhale to tune in. second chakra. The second chakra is the sex organ. So first chakra is down below the root chakra, then we're moving up to the sex organs. And energetically, this is where creativity and inspiration reside. So if your second chakra is blocked, you might have a hard time accessing creativity. You might have a hard time feeling uninspired. You might have a hard time enjoying play, enjoying pleasure. So it's a good chakra to have open. Starting the Kriya. First exercise, bring the hands into Gyan Mudra, index finger and thumb touching, and have the palms facing up. So really straighten the spine. The arms are relaxed, hands are resting on the knees. You will bring all of your mental focus to the sex organ. So bring all of your mental focus to your second chakra. And for the next one minute, do breath of fire. Go ahead and begin.
30 seconds remaining. for support. Your head and shoulders stay on the mat. We'll bring the feet together and raise the feet about six inches, about 12 to 15 centimeters off the ground. Holding this position will do breath of fire. That is going to overstrain your body. The modification is to inhale the leg up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down. So you'll do alternate leg lifts inhaling up and exhaling down instead of using breath of fire. So find whichever of those versions is going to work best for you. For the next one minute, go ahead and begin. seconds remaining. chest in a single rock. Rock yourself up to a seated position. Just take a few breaths. Really consolidate your energy. Bring it in. Extend the arms straight out, the palms face down, so coordinate with your environment if you need to. You'll hold this position and you're going to roll side to side on your buttocks. So try to have the motion becoming really from the buttocks. Try to keep the arms parallel to the ground. We're doing long, deep breathing, so just roll from side to side. Once again, you can bring your mental focus down to the buttocks the sex organs down to the second chakra as you breathe. Let your 
body relax, try to notice your energy. Deep inhale, gently carefully come onto your feet. The exercise is frog pose. So in this exercise, if you can, come up onto the toes with the heels off the ground and try to have the heels touching each other if that works for your body. The fingertips stay on the ground the whole exercise in front of the feet. And if keeping the heels up doesn't work, just flatten the feet as much as you need to. And this exercise will inhale as we straighten the legs, drop the nose to the knee. Exhale, coming back down, the chin is parallel to the ground, so we're inhaling up, breathing through the nose, exhaling, dropping down. We'll do this for one minute, go any pace you like, synchronize your breathing, powerful inhales up, powerful exhales, dropping down, and continue. Next time you come down, stay down, come all the way down, sitting in easy pose. The legs crossed, take a few breaths. Just try to really ground yourself. Notice where your body connects to the ground. Next exercise like a butterfly pose. So bring the soles of the feet together. You're still sitting in easy pose, but this time the soles of the feet touch each other. Gently bring the feet as close as your body allows. You can wrap the fingers around the toes. And if you're able to apply the root lock, the mole bonds, try to tighten the lower part of the body as you very gently bounce the knees up and down. So when you tighten the mole bond, you push the energy up the spine. So we're tightening, clenching the lower part of the body, moving the energy up the spine as we very gently flutter our knees, eyes are closed down, let your breath find its own rhythm. sitting in easy pose, just try to relax, let the energy circulate. Next exercise, gently come onto your stomach. So this is a modified cobra pose. Inhale, gently push up. First come up into cobra and then come up into plank pose. So this is the position that come on the inhale 
and then exhale, gently lower yourself down. So we're inhaling first cobra, and then coming up into plank pose, and exhaling, lowering yourself down. It's a full exercise, if that doesn't work for your body, just modify, you don't have to come all the way into plank pose. Inhale, up into cobra, and exhale gently as you come down. Continue, do this for one minute. to the side, palms face up, Let your body relax completely. on the heels, the hands onto the thighs, press the shoulder blades together, just breathe. The next exercise is chair pose. So in this exercise, into a squatted position. So in crow pose, you'll have crow pose where the feet are angled slightly out, drop down. And then if you can, start with the hands on the ground in front of the body. Gently rise up. See if you're able to sweep the hands through the feet and onto the tops of the feet. So the exercise, if you can, you'll be creating almost like a table with your back. Holding this position with long, deep breathing. Holding this for one minute. Do what you can. Modify if you need to, but if you're modifying, visualize yourself in the full position. Thirty seconds remaining. Inhale, 
Gently, very carefully come out of the position. Come lying on your back. Sorry, come lying on your stomach. Arms are at your side, your palms face up. Notice the energy circulating throughout your body. And gently bend the knees for the next exercise, which is bow pose. So if you can, grab your ankles. If you can't, just grab towards your ankles. Gently lift up, bringing the chest, and if you can, the thighs off the mat. Do what you can. Each body is different. For some of us, we'll just slightly bring the chin off the mat. Others are more experienced, more flexible. You can go higher. We'll hold this with long, deep breathing. For the next one minute, don't overstrain your body. Stay connected to your breath. down, relax the arms to the side, palms face up, bring your head off to one side, just breathe. Inhale, gently push yourself up. Sitting on the ground, extend the legs as wide as your body comfortably allows. Each body is different, so find what's going to work for you. Rest the hands on a place that your body can comfortably support. If you're just starting out, it'll be the thighs. If you're more experienced, it might be the knees. The ankles, if you can make it to the toes without bending the knees, you can press the hands against the fingers against the big toe. Inhale up, straight up, exhale, gently drop down. Holding, doing this for one minute, inhaling up, exhaling down, and continue. Eyes are closed down, keep your focus at your third eye point. Inhale up, stay up, gently drag the hands towards the body, a few breaths. Very gently, very carefully bend the knees. Come sitting on your heels in rock pose. This exercise interlace the hands behind the back and when you're interlacing the hands are in venus lock for women the left thumb is on top for men it's the opposite so if you're a woman bring the left thumb on top if you're a man the right thumb is on top and gently lean 
down as far as your body comfortably allows. If you're able to drop your forehead all the way to the ground, let the forehead rest on the ground. Long, deep breathing. exercises remaining in the Kriya. And the next exercise, the exercise is called celibate pose and you'll really check in with your own body. In the full exercise, it's like sitting in rock pose, but you'll spread the feet and let the body drop down between the feet. For some people that works, for some people that overstrains the knees. So if that's overstraining your knees, modify it by sitting in rock pose on the heels. The hands are relaxed on the thighs. Spine is straight. Mental focus is at your third eye point. Long, deep breathing for the next one minute. Sitting in rock pose on the heels, the hands turn up towards the sky, let the energy circulate, just breathe. Final exercise before the relaxation, we're doing Sat Kriya, so interlace the fingers in Venus Lock, women the left thumb is on top, men the right. Index finger points straight up to the sky, extend the arms straight up, try to squeeze the arms to the ears. You don't need to worry about your breath in this exercise because we will chant, and whenever you chant, the breath self-regulates, so we'll chant. Sat, no, sat, no. Try to keep the shoulders relaxed. Do this for one minute. Go ahead and begin. Sat, no, sat, no. Sup, no, 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 sup, 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 
Set. 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 Inhale. Exhale. Sweep the arms down. Touch your fingers to the ground. Just take a few breaths. Ground yourself. And gently come lying on your back as we begin the deep relaxation. Arms are at your side. Palms face up. Your only job is to relax completely. Let your energy circulate. 